Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Sam and today we're going to be doing a room tour and uh, a little guide to decorating your room on a budget. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job with this room but I did not spend a lot on it. You've got to plan out the kind of vibe you want, the kind of style and just stick to it. You don't want too many things going on, too many colour palettes, too many materials, so let's get on with it. So here is my room, I'm going to show you round and go through kind of the stuff in here and the vibe I went for. This room is absolutely massive. The bedrooms in this house are just abnormally large. I've re I, all I had was the bed, the TV unit, the wardrobe, and it made the space feel quite small. I just hadn't filled it up. So it was very plain and very boring. And it, it felt, it, now it feels a lot bigger now. I've actually filled it up. Um, so I thought this area um, will make this into a little seating area. I lived in Bristol for a year, We re I rented a flat and I bought these chairs for the balcony and obviously I don't have a balcony here so I thought these can be put to use. I got these little cushions from Danown, we've got this coffee table from Habitat um, which is a cool like kind of coppery glass look and I've decorated it with just some trays which I got from Ikea um, and you know German owned diffuser, German owned candle. From living in that apartment, having my own kitchen area, lounge area, it kind of made me feel like I want to replicate that in here. So I have tried to make it into a bit of like an apartment hotel vibe. And I've got this over here, which used to have the TV on, but I've moved it over here. Coffee machine and that. I've got my espresso machine. I would have capsules in here, but I have run out of them. And some biscuits and sugar and, you know, different tea bags and the kettle. And it just makes me a little bit more self-sufficient up here because uh, if I want a coffee or a tea, I can't be asked to go downstairs. Um, you know, we've got some alcohol. Um, just sometimes it's nice to, you know, if I'm having someone around, sometimes I want to be in private. I don't want to be all around the house. And it's nice to just be able to come sit here or sit here in the morning. Like common chest of drawers and wardrobe. Uh, it's just, you know, it's all, it's all from Ikea. It's pretty cheap. It's just kind of how you style the room, I feel, that's going to spice it up a little bit. We've got the LED lighting behind. Um, I do love LED lights, but I think people do go a little bit too crazy on them, strapping it across the ceiling in their room. Uh, if you're gonna do LED lights, put it behind something so you get the light from them, but you don't wanna actually see the physical lights. I can't say that enough. Decorative objects that are gonna match your vibe. Like I got this from a market in Bristol and it's like, I don't know if it's salt stone or something. So over to the bed area, we've got this, I've got this new bed from made.com. Uh, really good price, I think, because I only look 250 pounds. Got my grey sheets on at the moment. Uh, nice velvet pillow there from the White Company. Um, bedside tables, also from Ikea, I do plan on changing those. But you know, if you put the extra effort in with the decor around it, you know, bedside tables, wardrobe, whatever, is not gonna matter too much. Uh, the lamps, also from Ikea. But when I went to Venice, I went to the Peggy Guggenheim gallery and I saw loads of Jackson Pollock stuff and I was like, wow, I really am into that. Um, and I found a print that I could get online, so I bought that and bought the frame. We've got some Joe Malone candles on the side. We've got this bench at the bottom, which I actually stole from an accommodation that I used to live in. Um, they were just all dotted around and I just thought, that looks kind of cool, I'm just going to take that. Um, the rug is from Ikea. The room is very neutral and plain, but I wanted to give it a hint of colour, a hint of like, you know, kind of a bit like tropical vibes. I've got the plants, I've got a bit of green and blue going on. The pillow and throw are from the White Company. Uh, pretty sure I got them from Vista Village. White Company can be quite expensive, so I do have a look in their sale. But my favourite thing that I bought with this room are the remote socket. So for all my lamps, I've got this so I can just go like that and turn all the lights off and go like that and turn my lamps on. I hate having to go individually switch them on and off. Over here we've just got my desk which is from Ikea. I love just sitting over here, can look out the window, do my work, do some editing, do whatever. I've got this gorgeous chair from HomeSense. They've got really cool stuff, just a little bit different. You know, Ikea, everyone's usually got some of the same stuff but there you can go and you might find something that 
they put one of or they don't have it in another store you go in a week later and they don't have them anymore okay over here we've got a floor lamp from ikea i really like this lamp it just really really neutral i think with a room you generally want to stick to the same kind of metal finish um predominantly in here is silver but i feel like with brass and gold you can go for a hint of it in you know a mirror what's here i got this from home sense um and this is just so cool. It's exactly what I was looking for. So over here again, I wanted to really maximize the space. Yeah, I just wanted it a lot more plain and simple when I'm watching TV in bed. This from Ikea, nice green in keeping with the rest of the stuff in here. I'm gonna be repainting this room. Uh, I wanna do all the woodwork, all the walls, all the same color. So I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter, a bit more of a neutral gray. This is very, very warm tone grey. So some key areas you can really spice up your room. I think lamps and lighting can really transform a room, really up the ambience and you've got a bit more choice over the vibe you're going for. Uh, plants, I uh, love indoor plants. I've got a couple fake ones in here, a couple real ones and it really just gives me that calming vibe and that pop of colour that I'm looking for. If you want to spice it up a bit you don't necessarily have to go for a pop of colour, it could be you know a pop of texture you know i've got the the fairy bed throw or on the chair just stick to a color theme uh, that doesn't necessarily all have to be the same color but the same color range or complementary colors uh like say you've got a gray room you could have an orange cushion the materials kind of stick to a couple say you've got a lot of wood maybe make sure it's all oak or you know you don't want oak and mahogany and metal and white and black in here i've mainly got kind of gray white black and green. It's all quite neutral up until the green. Uh, the lighting hasn't been great in here, so I'm sorry about the quality of this video, but I hope I've given you some ideas if you're decorating your room. And honestly, this room, is there is not one piece of furniture in this room that is very expensive. The majority of the stuff is from Ikea and HomeSense, and we've got a bit of Habitat, made.com. Uh, I, I love made.com, I think, if you're going to go for a bed or, you know, just a statement piece of furniture, I think Made is really good. They do like really nice armchairs. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, I want to do more kind of interior design stuff. Uh, my room at my dad's house, I'm currently kind of transforming that. Um, and that's not so on a budget. That's going to be a bit more higher end. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one.